Hello and welcome to Todd versus Team BBD. All right, well, Brian is wearing his signature Team BBD from the Live Versus series, which you could have caught last weekend uh, at yep. Star City Games uh, Grand Prix, New Jersey. Uh, I, uh, we're filming this before that happened, so I hope you won. I hope so, too. I hope you lost. I like it when CVM wins. All right. beard. We're beard bros now. All right, fine. He can win one. Yeah. But anyway, only one. Uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Modern, and I have to say that I am disgusted. I don't Are know you? how you feel about Modern right now, but I, I think that just... I, I've been looking at, like, a lot of results lately, and it just feels like if you're not delving, you're not doing the right thing. It also feels like four Dragon Claw in every sideboard might mean the format's not where it wants to be. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that to creep into the main deck. You yeah. Know? And <laughs> once once the first Dragon Claw gets in the main deck, then the floodgates are open and everyone's just like, oh, I'll play four Dragon Claw on my red-blue deck, and yeah. I'll just incidentally gain a few life if I need to, you know. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. This format, it's, something's got to change. And the, the Pro Tour is coming in just a few months for uh, Modern and uh, Fate Reforged in Washington, D.C., and it should be a good time because hopefully they're going to ban Treasure Cruise, maybe Jeskai Ascendancy, maybe Dig Through Time. And there's this whole new world of possibilities that maybe the next set has more crazy Delve cards in it. Yeah, and if they, don't, if they ban those three cards, that's just room for Hooting Mandrel to take <laughs> over as yeah, the Delve. Hashtag ban Hooty. Yeah, hashtag yeah. ban Mandrels. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I am not going to be doing deck tech on my deck today. I'm going to be playing Blue Red Delver. If you haven't seen it by now, it's just super generic, very similar to the Legacy version. Yeah. A lot of cantrips, a lot of burn spells, uh, Monastery Swiftsword, Delver, Secret Young Pyromancer. Same creature. End of story. Yeah. Brian, we're going to let him talk about his deck now, and I'm going to ask him some questions. All right. It is uh, Just Guy Burn, which um, has basically taken over. Like a lot of times, Mono Red was the burn deck. Sometimes it was Red Black for Bump of the Night, but yeah. now this is just basically the burn deck because you're playing four copies of Treasure Cruise that, in a burn deck. That's weird, right? That <clears throat> four copies of a blue card would go into a Mono Red deck. Yeah, I guess uh, when you're trying to burn your opponent out, drawing three more burn spells <laughs> ends up being pretty good. Is one mana draw three good? Has that ever been good in Magic? Just ever? It. I think it was second fiddle to one mana prevent three damage. Okay. I know that was in the cycle. There was yeah. also one black mana make three black mana, which is a close second, I will say. I don't know. I think one mana deal three damage to target creature or Ooh, players. But we we get both of those in this deck. That's and true. And you could even splash for healing salve. You could do that. It's true. That is an option you have to you. I could also play a, I could also play giant growth too. I could splash for giant growth. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Can, all you right. get them all. Uh, well, let's like tell me about this deck. <laughs> like, does it have any sort of weird plays? Like, why are you playing very specific things? I mean, obviously treasure cruise. We get access to the twelve lands. Uh, that fetch, or, yeah, we have, oh, we have 11, excuse me. But, yeah, tell me about the rest of the cards. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just basically your standard burn deck, but you're going to want to, like, there's a ton of fetch lands. Normally, you don't want to play that many fetch lands, um, but here they fuel treasure crews, so we want to be fetching almost every turn um, that we can just to fill our graveyard for cruises. Is there any merit to maybe playing, like, two more fetch lands even with by cutting those? Maybe. Uh, we could also, I've also seen... I could also see just playing two mountains over these two. I don't know if you need this many dual lands. Sure. Um, but, yeah, so really we want to fill our graveyard as fast as possible. So all these burn spells, like, I don't think there's going to be, like, I'm just going to sit on this burn spell. It's just going to be, like, fire it all off oh, yeah. and try a treasure cruise. So, I mean, sometimes with burn decks, you, you actually play, like, a slower, more grindier game. But I don't think that's the case when you have four treasure cruises in your deck. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that also can't be the case when you have Monastery or Swiss Sphere as well. Yeah. You just, you, you get so much advantage from just, like, uh, creating velocity through fetch lands, burn spells, filling up your graveyard, treasure cruise. And, like, you don't even care if you're, like, losing card advantage from throwing a burn spell at their face, you know, uh, instead of their creatures. Because you have this to just refuel if, if things go bad. And, like, you know, every card in your deck is dealing, like, at least three damage at some point in time. So. Yeah, I mean, they don't call it Monastery Slow Spear. Like, we're trying to end the game swiftly. Yeah, so. sure. What about this Goblin Guide? Is, what is, do you think Swift Spear is better or worse than Goblin Guide? I think Goblin Guide's probably better in this deck, but I think Swift Spear has proven to just be... At least in better, Legacy. At least in Legacy, a better yeah. card, so... Um, when it came out, I thought the Goblin Guide would just still be better, but hey, maybe that's just wrong. Yeah. Do you think there's any merit to trying something like Mutagenic Growth in this deck? That way you just get to go, like, Mutagenic the Swift Spear, deal some extra damage, fuel your Treasure Cruise, 
It's probably not okay if you're playing Eidolon because then you start dealing yourself a little too much damage and then you're kind of bad when your opponent tries to burn you out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, make, making Treasure Cruise good is all I want to do in this format. Yeah, I could see, like, Probe or Mutagenic or, you know, even Marrow Shards. <laughs> Just kidding about that, but, yeah. yeah. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, that's the main deck for this deck. Uh, yeah, it's Burn. But let's look at the sideboard to see what sweet goodies are there. I'm curious. Me too. I know. Yeah. All right, we are back for the sideboard. And as you can see, it is super slanted towards... The format in general, which is a lot of like blue red style decks. So we have three core firewalkers and lightning helixes which, that are all good in those matchups. Deflecting palm also very good against like other burn decks, uh, things of that nature where you want to you know make them talk to the hand and also kill them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, a couple of relics for the graveyard decks are still pod and, and things like that in the format. Uh, Molten rain as well for you know any kind of scape shift with dig things like that. Um, you're gonna want the molten rains, and then three wear tears, which may seem excessive, but it really isn't because everyone's playing dragon claw. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I do have four dragon claw on my sideboard, so I can't really say anything. So I think that honestly, with this deck, I haven't been playing that much modern, but just from looking at all the decks that are doing well, like I've been looking through a lot of the dailies, I think that uh, you just bring in wear tear in every matchup. I mean, I yeah, sure. You just always bring it in. Why, why? I guess yeah. You don't want it main deck because they don't have the Dragon Claws main deck. Exactly. Yet. yet yeah. Yet. Uh, but yeah, wear tear. Yeah. Sure. I've also seen lists that are splashing for destructive revelry, which that Ooh. may end up being the right play too. That actually sounds pretty. Sweet. That way, they only they they take one damage when you kill their Dragon Claw. So. Yeah, but I think Boros Charm is a little too strong for me to to want to play green over white. Maybe you just play four colors since you have like twelve fetch lands or whatever. But yeah. I don't know. It, it could play a lot more like the old uh, style of uh, zoo decks that just play like you know one or two of each dual land and all their four colors or five colors. So yeah, something something like that. Yeah. All, all right. right, guys. Well, uh, that's all for Brian's Jeskai Burn deck. Uh, let's go ahead and get to battle and see who comes out on top of this blue red X slugfest. <laughs> 